Hey guys, welcome to my skincare. Hi, so today I'm gonna be showing you guys some new finds that I found. <laughs> so, if you're new to the channel, I'm May. On this channel, we talk skincare, everything beauty, um, everything fashion. I'm a girly girl, so I love to talk about girly girl stuff. So today, I found some new interesting things that I am so excited to share with you guys. And I only have one question. Why did anyone tell me? Where has this things been all my life? It's like, how come I didn't know about this? But it's never too late to catch up. So I brought them to tell you about it as usual. So you can catch up too, okay? And the first thing on the list, which I am super duper excited about i'm crazy about it i've only had it for like a week but i have put a massive dent in it you can tell that i love it this is the avino daily moisturizer body mist like i don't know if this thing can focus this camera can focus so you can see i don't know why it keeps doing that Anyway, I'm gonna hold it like this. So this is the Avino Daily Moisturizing Body Oil Mist. Guys, so first things first, this oil has oat oil and jojoba or jojoba oil, jojoba oil, okay? And this is for dry and rough skin. It says it conditions dry and rough skin. So oat oil is rich in lipids and fatty acid to help condition the skin. So jojoba oil, the jojoba oil in this contains two times more vitamin E and this is a moisturizing body mist. It's, it works for sensitive skin, um, and also if your skin is prone to itching, this is the perfect oil for you. Guys, this oil, it smells so nice and soft. It smells like a, like a mature baby oil. I don't know if that's even a thing, <laughs> but it smells like a mature baby oil. It's super nice. A little goes a long way. Like if you put it on your skin, you can feel how your skin is so soft. Your skin is moisturized. So when I, after I used Lemon Clear, my skin was super dry. I started to use a different moisturizer, which I'm gonna show you guys today. I started using that moisturizer, but then the moisturizer was working, but it was not working as fast as I wanted it to work. So I, I went to Walmart and I saw this oil and I was like, you know what? Let me just try this oil. I tried it and oh my God, it was like, psh, life it was like a life-changing experience this was a game changer for me and my dry skin huge game changer okay when i tell you this oil and it's not that expensive and it is a good quantity it is 200 ml get it get it get it and the best way to use this oil to get maximum effect is when you get out of the shower don't dry your skin completely leave a little bit of water on your skin spritz this on your hand or directly on your skin massage it into your skin mix it with the water massage it until it dries off completely and you will thank me this is beautiful for like when i apply this on my skin i could instantly feel my skin being hydrated like i'm not even making this up instantly this is how good this oil is that's how good the oil is so the next thing that i also found is another body oil so this is the sheer moisture coconut and hibiscus bath body and massage oil so this is the one that i found so i just got this one I've used it only a couple of times. You can take screenshots. I've used it only a couple of times, but I'm so excited about it. The You use it the same way you use the Avino oil. When you get out of the shower, your skin is still damp. You apply it on top of the water, massage it in. This is for dull skin. And if you're doing skin lightening, you know that a lot of the skin lightening products will bleach your skin, but they'll make your skin very dry and very dull. So this is when this oil comes in. This oil also smells 
it smells lovely i love the scent of this oil so i always use i'm right now i'm using these two together okay and my skin is just loving it i am so you can tell i'm so excited about this oil. i don't know why i'm just finding out about it but this is amazing i also got this at walmart but this one is kind of hard to find at walmart because like people are just scooping it up so if you don't find it you will find it at if you don't find it at walmart or target or CVS, you will find it on Amazon, okay? I don't remember how much it cost, but it was a lot more pricey than the Aveeno oil. Okay, so the next thing that I found is still another oil, you guys. I am loving these new releases of oil. I don't know if they just released them or the they've always existed, but I'm just finding out, but I absolutely love it. So the next one is, this is a new line of Vaseline. This is a Vaseline Radiant X. So this oil right here is Vaseline Radiant X Hydrating Body Oil. So it has 1% lipids, it has jojoba oil, coconut oil, and vitamin E, and it hydrates and replenishes the skin. So this is the bottle right here. Take screenshots. This one is expensive. Vaseline products are expensive, but it is totally worth it because... Mm. Oh my God, this smells good. See, let me tell you. If you cannot afford to buy perfume oils, buy these two oils right here, layer it with your perfumes and it is heaven. Like I have tried it, so I know. Layer this with your perfumes, apply this on your skin, then apply your perfumes over it. You will smell so sexy. You will smell very alluring. You will smell so soft. You're going to smell so fresh, so clean. It's just, it's ridiculous how good it is. So this oil is also very, very moisturizing. It really, really hydrates the skin. It smells gorgeous. This one has like a distant cocoa butter smell, but it smells so good. You need these oils in your life, okay? I'm gonna have a different video on how to layer your perfume oils with these oils. You need these oils in your life. They are gorgeous. This one is a little pricey, but it is worth the hype. Works perfectly for dry skin. You know I am the dry skin number one candidate, okay? So anything I advocate for for dry skin, you can bet your bottom dollar that it works. It works, okay? Okay. <laughs> so the next thing that I found, which I'm, I'm really loving and I am it's a scrub and i'm adding it to my my break my scrubs that i use during my breaks or when i want to skin build or i want to replenish my skin or treat my skin so this is also the sheer moisture coconut and hibiscus illuminating hand and body scrub this scrub right here this is a very very beautiful scrub someone i know told me about the scrub this is a beautiful scrub it works for dull skin it has vitamin e it has coconut oil it has hibiscus flower and it works for rough dry skin okay and it says this is a treatment it's a hand treatment rub your palms together to create gentle warm and massage gently into the top of the hands and cuticles so if your hands are looking dry and dull you can use this puppy right here to work on that and it smells amazing um the downside is this scrub is very dry as you can see it's very dry and it's very abrasive so if you have very soft and sensitive skin and you think that this might tear your skin do not go for it okay but aside that this is lovely and it is a very clean brand per se it has no parabens no mineral oil it was not tested on animals no petroleum jelly and it has no sulfate so this is for dull skin and this also hydrates and moisturizes your skin so if you've been using lightening lotions or lightening products and your skin has dried out significantly then you need this this scrub right here will help to revamp your skin so when you use this scrub 
then you use the oils that i've showed you here today mostly these two and then you can add the vaseline i use all of them at once because i'm selfish <laughs> and then you can add the vaseline to it and it's just gonna be a great time honestly i don't know how to explain this but this is really good um this scrub you will not find it in the stores i got this off of amazon so this is the uh 20 ounces i think it's like a 10 or 15 ounce which is slightly cheaper so yes you can try that as well and the last thing that i have been trying which i'm not really feeling it that way but i'm just gonna write it out that will be the ole shea butter moisturizer the daily recovery and hydration i'm not feeling this but it is good don't get me wrong it is very good it's a good moisturizer it hydrates your skin it's non-greasy it doesn't have a strong smell it just smells really normal let me see yeah the scent is very normal you'll not even know that it it smells like something this is a really good lotion and also it is a daily recovery so if your skin is super dry and your skin is just under the weather especially now that we're in the winter time your skin might be so dry and under the weather you need this in your life the reason why i'm not feeling this lotion is because i have used jergens for such a long time and i'm really used to jergens i love jergens and i feel like i'm cheating on jergens when i'm using this one even though this one works it gets the job done it hydrates and moisturizes but i don't know i just i just love my jergens i don't know what to tell you but this this is a good lotion you will find this in every walmart i think you can find this at a cvs or a walgreens or even at target you're going to find this lotion okay yes so those are my new finds and these new finds guys everything i've shown you in this video it is not for skin lining it's not for bleaching which means anyone can use it men can use it women can use it if you want to brighten your skin you just want a regular scrub to scrub off dead skin cells this one is it if you're dark skin light skin anyone can use this is a hydrating scrub it is a very beautiful scrub for dull skin okay these oils that i've showed you anyone can use it dark skin light skin even children can use this oil okay because these are natural oils children can use this oil we all know the brand vaseline avino share moisture they are natural brands they don't contain no chemicals whatsoever no bleaching agent no lightening agent nothing the very natural so yes let me know in the chat if you've used any of these products i'm very excited these products have been working really really good on my skin because the popo lotion it worked great like my skin is really shiny but then i started to notice that my skin is dry and i started actually have some new stretch marks from the popo lotion so i have stopped using it as well i had a combine i used it for a combine two weeks and it got the job done and that's all what i needed so with lotions like this you always have to know when to stop and i think that i've got into a great stopping point with the popo lotion i might revisit it sometime in the future to try to kick up things to go a little faster but for now i'm done with it i'm good i love my results i just need to find something else okay thank you guys so much for watching um there's so many more videos and after this video i need you to stay back and watch my next video which talks the next video which talks about a particular whitening oil that has made waves over time anyway i will see you in the next one bye